Hi everyone. For this class, I'm going to be discussing about proof by footprint. Yeah. I already have a simple architectural design and I want to discuss about roofing. If I proceed, simply subscribe and like our YouTube channel. This helps us in making more helpful useful tutorials on a daily basis. Now on roof, we have primarily two types of roof. If I click on this roof drop down, you can see that we have roof by footprint, we have roof by extrusions, we also have roof by face that is unmassing. Now, I will discuss about roof by footprint in this class. In my next video tutorial, I'll be talking about roof by extrusions where you can have different types of extrusions, roof, and the likes of them like that. Here, I will focus on roof by footprint. A roof by footprint is a basic roof type that you can use a footprint to define its boundary. That's your building footprint. You can define the slope, the overhangs, and the likes of them. And after that, subsequent tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can do what we call slope arrow, that is having some gable design types of roof. Now let me proceed. If I want to start a roof design here, I need to come down to my floor plan. I can see that I have level 1 and level 2. Mind you, if you should go to one of your elevation, any of your elevation here, you can see that I already have a defined designs. This is level 0 and this is level 1. Basically, this is level 1 and this is level 2. And you can see the distance in between them. That's about 6 meter. My roof is going to be on my level 2. So I'll go to level 2. Double click on that. And I will start my roofing. Roof is an example of a sketch based modeling tools. That is, it gives you access to have a custom control of how you can design your roof. So let me select my roof by footprint. When you click on roof by footprint, you can see that I'm now on modifies by create roof footprint. If you go back to architecture, you can see that all these icons are now disabled. That tells you that not until you complete the creation of roof, you cannot do anything else here. You can see. So let me maintain my creation of roof. I can see I have custom tools that I can use in creating my roof. So how do I start? I can either start creating my roof using line, rectangle, arc and the likes of them. I can also use pick line or I can use pick wall. Now I have an existing wall on my design. I can see that each time I move to my wall you can see that the the broken line that indicates the creation of roof is not on the exact spot of the wall. The reason being that overhangs has been specified to be 600. I have my defined slope as well, of which I'm going to look into all that. Let me get my roof to be like a 125 generic. Element. And you can see my overhang which is 600. If I take it to 1200, you see the changes now. You can see the, the, the distance is now twice the original one. So let's take it back to 600. Mind you, you must always define your overhangs. So I'll select the first line. I can see I've created one here. Select the second line. Select the third line. I can see for every creation, you can see here I have slope definition it's like this this is inside so there's a an up and down arrow here or left front and back arrow just click on the flip and it takes it back outside then I'll select this 
select these two good and I can finally select this and then you can see that my roofing creation has been completed all I need to do is to click finish but when you click finish here there's an error here that will not allow you to complete that click on finish and you can see see that line cannot intersect each other the highlighted line currently intersects to continue so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to split this line by using the split element and stay somewhere at the midpoint and I've split that line so click on modify once just once so you can see that this line stops here and this other one stops here as well so now I will use my trim stroke extends to corner tools I'll pick this point I'll pick this point so that it can clean up this area I'll do the same thing to this place click here and pick here you can see how it cleans that as well now I can click finish that to complete my roof creations mode and you can see now how cool I need my roof was you can see that so if I should go to 3d view 3d you can see that my roof creations has been completed and that's a simple way on which you can create a roof my next video in other subsequent video I can teach you how you can create a gable along the line of this roof and the likes of them. Thanks for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you really enjoyed this video because it helps us in creating more additional videos on daily basis. Thank you.